Okay, so this would be the section on the the nerve stuff that we were talking about. Um, this is the best thing that I have for a table, so we'll try to make it work. But basically what you're gonna do, like I said, you, you're gonna need someone to pull your top leg back when you do this. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't fall off this thing. But basically you're gonna bring your knees up and bring your head down so that you're laying in like a fetal position. Someone will grab your leg and pull your knee back past your hip and then they're just gonna try and bring your heel to your butt. And then they'll relax it, bring it back up. Knee goes straight back and then they're just gonna gently push your foot <clears throat> towards your butt. And you'll feel that stretch in the front of your quad. That's for the nerve. If at any point when someone's doing that, you feel it in your back, what you can do, it'll usually be on the same side, so you'll feel it in your right back. If you feel it in your left back, you can do the exact same thing I'm about to show you, but turn around. <clears throat> so you'll slide forward and let your legs dangle off the side and you'll put a towel in between your ribs and the and the bench that you're on so you're trying to make like an arch with your stomach on that side and you're trying to open this side up so you're almost trying to crunch down slide forward and then let your legs hang off the side just the the further your feet can go towards the ground so this way the more you should feel that stretch just through that general area um, <clears throat> basically the right side of your back so give those two a shot and just see how it feels. I would do these first, and then I would follow it up with some of the movement-based stuff, or you can just do them kind of in order. So do a set of the nerve stretch. If you feel it in your back, do a set of that. And go through the exercises that are in the next video I'm gonna send you, and then start back at the top, do these again, do those again, and just kind of loop them all together. That would probably actually be the best way to go about doing it. So that was pretty simple, once or twice a day, um, 15, 20 reps, really gentle tension, whoever's doing it to you so they're not trying to like rip your leg off. And you should feel a stretch in your quad, not pain, maybe a little bit of discomfort, but it shouldn't jump more than two or three on a one to 10 scale in terms of like RPE or how much you feel it. Um, if you don't feel the same pain in your quad or in the same area, let me know because it could change things depending on how it is, but I'm pretty confident that'll work. The other thing that you can try to do if you don't have anyone to do this with you is like lay on your back or on your stomach and you can literally like bring your head up to your heel so i'm just trying to bring my thigh off the bench and then curl my heel back towards my head and then drop it back down chances are with as much uh, as many symptoms as you have you'll probably feel that if the one on your side or that one is ever super intense for the one on your side, you can just lift your head up so you come out of that tuck position a little bit. And then for the one that I just did, instead of your head going back as your leg comes up, you can drop your head down the other way. And that basically will just take some tension off the nerve and it'll help it slide a little bit more. So the one on your stomach is head to foot. If that hurts or you feel it in your back or it's uncomfortable, bring your heel up the same exact way, but drop your head down like tucking your chin. Then on your side, it's the opposite. Lift the chin up if it's a really, really intense stretch through the middle of your quad.